Good evening, students. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay. I hope you're really, really good. How good are evening. You? Good evening. How are you, Leticia? Good evening, teacher. Bye, thank you. And you? I'm really, really good. Nice. Okay. Okay, how are you, Flora? Fine, teacher. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, students. How are you, Tanya? Okay, Fabiola, how are you? Tanya? <laughs> Okay, how are you, Oscar? Very well, teacher. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, Hola, how are you? Okay, how are you, Stephanie? How are you, teacher? I'm, I'm fine. fine. Okay, that's good. Nice. Okay, students. Uh, we, let's get a start with today's class. Let me see. Okay, we are going to continue with module three. Vamos a continuar con módulo tres. We got the topics for today's class. And we're going to see today what? Partes del cuerpo. Yeah, very good. Parts of the body. Very nice. Good job. And then we're going to see. Tener. Yeah. Sentir. Okay. Good. We're going to see have plus noun, the feel plus an adjective. ¿Cómo utilizar a have con un nombre y feel con un adjective? Okay, students. Uh, let's start with this. We got a lesson objective. Remember that all the time we're going to have an objective. Okay, somebody will help me to read the objective, please. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussion, discussing part of the body. Okay, thank you, Flora. Really good. Okay, we have the second objective. What we're gonna do here? Somebody who wanna read it? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Miriam. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use how plus plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illust illustrates how this topic is used in a real life series. Okay, very nice, good, really good job, uh, Lilian. Okay, students, basically what we're gonna see today is uh, parts of the body, and also we're gonna learn how to use have plus a noun and feel plus an adjective. That's what we are going to do today. In all of this that we're going to talk about in order to express health problems. What is health? Do you have an idea of what is health? Salud. Yeah, very good. Entonces vamos a ser capaces de expresar problemas. Salud. Okay, very nice, good job. Okay, students, let's get started with this class. Okay, we're gonna start with some useful words. Uh, for example, we get the first one. What is this? 
This is my. Este soy, no. Este es mío. Ok, more or less, en el, si la O, este es mío. Este es mío. Mi pa, mi cabeza, mi ojos. Yeah. Yeah. And so, right, this is my hair, this is my hair. This is my hair. So, right. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Nice. Good job. We get this one. The students, we get three similar words. Problem. Problem. Later. 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 Use. Use. Issue. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. What's the meaning of three words? Problem. 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 This one? Compañero, creo, no. Importar. Okay, okay. Yes. Ah, importante. Yeah, could be. Pero en este caso también significa un problema. Ya, una expresión. ya lo vamos a ver más adelante. Okay, what about this one? Problema también. Problema también. Problema también. Very good. As you see, we have several eh, ways that you can say problems. Tenemos varias formas de decir problems. Falta una acá. Pero falta una. Somebody know what's missing? Start with T. Comienza con una T. Trouble, very good. Thank you, Fabiola. Good job. Trouble, problem, issue, matter, it means the same. Okay, very good, the students. Teacher, teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia ahí? Issue. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí? Issue. Ese, Perdón. Issue. Okay, gracias. Issue. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, Oscar. Very good. Okay, this is my. Repeat, please. This is my. This is my. Okay. This is my. Okay. Now problem. 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 Matters. 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 And issue. 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 Okay, very good. Now. Issue. Good, good job. Okay, students, continue with this. We got the parts of the body. Tenemos las partes del cuerpo. We're going to start with this one. Uh, how do you say this one? Hand, cabeza. Head. Okay. Head. Yeah, in English? Head. Yeah. Head, yeah, very good. Yeah. Uh, what about this one? Eyes. Eyes. Good job. This one? Hair. Ear. Ears. Ear. Ear. Nose. Body. Nose. Nose. Very good. Nose. Ears. Nose. Good job. Nose. Uh, this one? Mouth. 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 and teeth. Mouth and teeth. What's the difference between the Uno está en singular. Diente o dientes. Yeah, what is the singular one? Tooth is singular. Teeth is plural. Yeah, teeth is plural and tooth singular. Is singular. Okay. Nice, good job. Okay, students, then we have? Shin. Shin. Okay, nice, good job. Or we will mm -hmm. okay, we got it this one. How do right. you mm -hmm. uh, change, yes. Uh, this one? Um, uh, la muñeca. Which, yeah, very good. In English? Grace. Uh, Grace. Okay, okay. Remember as a tip to students, when we see a word that is start with a W uh, letter we don't mention it no uh, no mencionarla this one entonces sería rich wrist very good wrist 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 okay la muñeca okay that's good pero muñeca no de jugar sino de de jugar 
Esa muñeca se dice de otra forma. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. okay, very good. What about this one? Arm. 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 Antebrazo. Yeah, arm. Ahí el brazo. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then you got? Elbow. 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 Very good. Elbow. 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 Okay. okay, very good. Then we got this one. Trot. 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 Very good. What is trot? Trot. Neck. Okay. Es como la manzanita que tienen los hombres. Como toras. Como la garganta, ¿no? Garganta. Garganta, very good. Eh, trot. La manzana. Trot. Acá, bueno, más o menos esto. Ok, es que. Si es manzana, tiene que ser Apple, no es eso. Se <risa> <risa> sí, cómo explicarlo a la chica. Eso uh, es una broma. I'm gonna call it Adam's Apple. Adam's Apple. <risa> Adam's Apple. Ah, ok, ah, sí. Adam's Apple. Adam's Apple. <risa> ok, perfecto. Entonces, Nick, Eva. <risa> Neck, yeah, neck is this one, yeah, very neck. Oh. neck, Eva. Yeah, neck. Neck. Mm -hmm. uh, neck. Right neck, very good. Neck. Okay. Uh, then we have this, back. Neck. Back. 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 Spalda. Spalda. Yeah, very good. This okay, back. 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 Shoulders. 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 Shoulder. Eso está en los hombros. Shoulder. Mm -hmm. Chest. Oh. Chest. Chest. Pecho. 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 Uh, Tórax. Okay. Well, we have, uh, you know, something really important here. We got a chest. Yes. We're going to use it for men, right? Chest. Okay. And for ladies, we're going to use breast. 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 No está acá, pero se dice breast. 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 Okay. Sería como... Eh, I'm going to send it to you through WhatsApp, right? Breast and chest. For breast. example, I have a chest. Chest. Pecho de hombre y pecho de lady. Okay. Mujer. Yes, and breast. Okay, then we got this. Stomach. 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 Yeah, very really good. Stomach. Good job. Yes? Stomach. Very good. Algunos escuchan el ruido. Quizás no lo hacen nada. Okay, how do you say ombligo in English? Ombligo. I don't know. You know no idea. Okay. No idea. No idea, right? Okay, ombligo, you can say. Umbilicus. 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 Yeah, very good. Umbilicus. Okay. Se escribe, teacher. Ah, se escribe. Okay, let me check. Umbilicus. I'm going to write it here on the chat. Umbilicus. Like this. Right. Um, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Umbilical. Umbilical. Okay, student, so let's see here. We got it this one. Tom. Okay. Tom. 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 Okay, this is a pulgar. Yeah, very good. Then we got the hand. Hand. La mano. Palma. La palma. Palma o mano completa. Mano. Mano. Finger. La mano. Fingers, dedos. Dedos. Yeah. Dedos. Dedos. Continue with this. We got it. Legs. 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 Very good. Legs. Then we got Knee. Knee. Knees. Very good. Knee. Knee. En la rodilla. Knee. Knee. Okay, then we got 
Anko. 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 Ese es el tobillo. Esa es la rodilla. La rodilla, ni. La rodilla, ni. Nice. Leg. Pierna. Pierna. Es la pierna. That's good. Then we have this. Foot. Foot. Feet. Foot is in the end singular feet. and feet are plural. Plural, very good. Thank you, Elizabeth. And then we got this two. 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 What is this? The other one. Very good. Eh, two, como que si dijésemos dos, two. Y si es in plural, twos. Okay, very good. Okay, students, do you have questions with one of these words? Questions? Any question about the word? No, it's clear. Okay, very good. And continue with this, students. Okay, uh, we got this picture here, right? And we're gonna uh, practice this knowledge. Uh, when I point with my mouse, cuando señale con mi mouse alguna parte del cuerpo, ustedes me tienen que decir, ah, this is my, y, y ahí va. Okay. Of the body. Okay, uh, are you ready? Okay. <laughs> ready? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, very good. Let's get started with this activity. Okay, students. Um, this is my eyes. 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 Very good. Nice. Continue with this. This is my mouth. This is my mouth. This is my mouth. Okay, this is my mouth. This is my mouth. My mouth. What about this one? This is my ear. This is my ear. This is my ear. Okay, very good. This one? This is my nose. My nose. Nose. Very nice. Nose. This is my elbow. This is my ear. This is my... Okay, very good. Elbow. Elbow. <laughs> this is my elbow. No, this is my elbow. <laughs> oh, okay, continue with this. This is my This is my umbilicus. Umbilicus. This is my umbilicus. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me hear this. I guess they. Yeah, that's me. Okay. This is my. This is my foot. foot. My foot. This is my foot. This is my foot. This is my teeth. My feet. This is my feet. Yeah. This is my feet. This is my fingers. My hand. This is my finger. This is my hands. My hand, this is my hand. My hand. My hand. What about this one? This is this my, is my knee. knee. This is my knee. knee. This is my knee. This is my knee. Okay, very good. Okay. As you see, uh, parts of the body is a uh, really important, you know, vocabulary for you, right? If you know part of your body, you can talk about your body in an easy way. Uh, why it is important to know this part? Because imagine in the future, if uh, you feel a pain in your, in your head, what are you gonna say? Doctor, I feel, you know, a headache, right? Or I feel a pain in my head. Y ustedes pueden ya describir algo que les duele o algo que les pasó con la parte del body, right? Okay, students, uh, questions about this? 
about this work? No questions? No questions. Okay, very good. No. Umbilicus. Um, umbilicus. Y este pecho de hombre, ¿cómo sería? Chest. Chest, very good. Chest. El de mujer, breast, o breast, no sé cómo es que hay. Breast. 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 Escribir, profe, porque. Ok. Tenerlo. I'm going to write it in a minute. Ok. Ok, students. Chest and breast. Ya se los escribo en el chat. Ok, let's continue with this. Ok. We got something really important at the beginning of the class. We see this. Okay, you can see a half plus a noun in field plus an adjective. Eh, tenemos half. Básicamente significa tener. Yo tengo. Tener. Tener. Por ejemplo, acá noun. Un nombre. Un nombre. El, el nombre de algún problema de salud o el nombre de algo que usted tiene. Por ejemplo, yo tengo un, eh, un gatito. I have a cat. Yes. Pero también puede utilizarlo para un problema de salud. I have a health problem. Health problem. Y feel, we can use it plus an adjective. Feel is a verb. Los dos son verbos. Este Significaba it's me. Sentir. Yeah, very good. Uh, what is an adjective? Como las cualidades del, imagino que del, o las partes del cuerpo, ¿no? Yeah, very good. Uh, what is uh, well, describir el problema. Describir Como salud. Describir a las cualidades del problema. Problema, describir a un hombre, describir a una persona. Oh, well, that's an adjective. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good. Ahora que ya sabemos esto, se nos va a ser más fácil to understand this part. Ok. We have these uh, useful questions. How do you feel? What, is, what does it mean? Empujarlos. Uh -huh. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? How do you feel? How do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? 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 ¿Cómo te
Sorry to hurt. Sorry to hurt. I'm sorry to hurt. Okay, students. Basically, uh, when we use have, cuando utilizamos have, vamos a poner un nombre. In this case, I have health problem. I have a health problem. Este es un name or a noun. Yeah, Ricky. I have a health problem. Yo tengo un problema de salud. Okay, very nice. And then we're gonna see feel plus an adjective. What is an adjective? We have this adjective. Fine. Positive. Fine. Fine. Good. Good. Great. 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 Fantastic. 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 Those are uh, adjectives. Positive. Positive. Yes. Positive. Then we got the negative adjective. Sick. Okay. Awful. Awful. Very good. Awful. Terrible. Very bold, very, very nice. <laughs> miserable. Okay, miserable. 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 Okay, miserable. as you see here, we got a, a positive and negative. Bien, fine. Sick, uh, I feel sick. Enfermo. Enfermo, very good. Awful. Horrible. Horrible. Very good. Horrible. Terrible. 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 And miserable. Terrible. Miserable. Miserable. Okay, we got a, a pro level, right? <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, and then we got the positive. Good. Great. And fantastic. Okay, ese día que nos ha ido nos ha salido todo bien, ¿verdad? No nos ha dejado el bus, hemos comido a tiempo, nuestro trabajo genial. We had a fantastic day. Very good. Okay, then we got this expression: I'm sick. I'm sick. Me siento mal. Okay. Me siento enfermo. No, no muy bien. No muy bien. No, muy no estoy bien. No estoy nada bien. No muy bien. Ok, muy bien. Yep. Yeah. Ok, estudiantes, good job. Uh, this expression is really important for you. Because uh, here is not necessary to use the uh, personal pronouns. You can say not so good. Good. Nice. Fantastic. No es importante poner los pronombres personales. But if you want to do, it's okay. Pero si lo quieren hacer, está bien. Pueden hacerlo de ambas formas. I'm sick. Not so good. Not very well. Right? Okay, it's clear? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, it's clear. Okay, okay very good. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, let's continue with this. <clears throat> we got it this. We have a song really important question that we have to know. Uh, for example, we get the first one. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? ¿Qué problema tienes? Okay, okay, more or less. You get the idea? What's the matter? What is the problem, right? Or you can say, what's wrong? ¿Qué es lo malo? I what? have a... Okay, I have a headache. I have a headache. I have a headache. Ah, baggage. Baggage. I have. I have the flu. I have the flu, right? I have the flu. I have the flu. Nobody wants to have flu. In this moment, nobody wants to have a flu, right? I have the flu. Okay, that's good. And this is another way ask for the same how are you or how do you feel how do you feel i feel homesick homesick it's like uh, homesick it's like i'm sick homesick 
Homesick is enfermo, right? Okay, I feel better. I feel, I feel better. better. I don't feel well. Okay. When you don't feel uh, very well. Okay, students, basically, uh, you have to follow this formula, right? Subject, that is with personal pronouns, plus have, plus a noun. That's an uh, easy, you know, sentence that you're going to build. Okay, with this formula, right? De las manos. Yeah. Okay, in este caso, solo ponemos el pronombre personal, have, y the noun. Problem. Yeah. El problema que tiene que se convierte en un nombre. For example, the flu, a headache, and so on, right? Pueden decir otro, otro eh, caso que ustedes sienten. Okay, very good, students. Teacher, okay. yeah. please pronunciation uh, the problem. A headache. This pronunciation. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? What is pronunciation? Headache. Headache. Okay, you can say like this, like uh, if you have a K, uh, a key here, right? A K, K, headache, headache, como que si hubiese una K al final, la detiene. Headache, headache, yeah, yeah. Bike. Yeah, like this, back Okay. Okay. Uh, so later on, we're gonna, we're gonna watch a video in order to uh, hear the right pronunciation of this word. Don't worry. Vamos a ver un video más allá para aclarar bien esa pronunciation because sometimes my microphone you. Eh, no sounds well. Okay, students, all, all the time we're gonna have positive and negative adjectives. In this case, negative, sick, Awful, terrible, miserable, and positive, fine, great, terrific, and fantastic. Okay. In this case, terrific in English it not mean terrific. No significa eso. Aquí significa lo opuesto. Sí. Okay. Muy bien. Yeah. Sí, que se siente genial. Genial. <laughs> okay, terrific. Porque si Hey, hey, how do you feel? Ah, terrific! Y lo ven sumamente contento. Ustedes van a quedar así. Ah, really? <laughs> Because eh, a veces creemos que suena a otra cosa que conocemos en Spanish, right? Okay. Okay, so, entonces la pronunciación. Si pronunciamos, por ejemplo, terrific y terrible, ah, es terrible. Yeah, terrible, terrible, right? Ah, okay. Terrific. For example, <laughs> yeah, okay, that's good. Terrible, terrific. Este es negativo, terrible. Y este, terrible. Terrible. Terrific. Que algo está genial, grandioso. Okay, y este es fantastic o fantastic? Fantastic. Con A, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, students, uh, let's practice this question with your partner. Okay, you have what you have to do right now. You have to practice this. Uh, we're gonna divide it some groups. Vamos a dividirlos en grupos de tres o de cuatro. I don't know, but what you're gonna do right now is this one. Uh, you have to ask this question. Tienen que preguntar esta pregunta. Can you tell me five parts of your body? And you say, ah, okay, uh, Stephanie, this is my 
ta 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 this is my ta 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 right this is my this is my what? Okay, that's good. Uh, five parts of the body. If you want I'm to say the body, can you tell me five parts of your body? Eso se van a preguntar el uno al otro. Okay. <coughs> What's the other question? What's the matter? What's the matter? How do you feel? How do you feel? What's the matter? For example, here in this case, what's the matter? Ah, I have a health problem. I have a health problem. Si tienen un problema de salud. I feel sick. How do you feel? Ah, I feel sick. I feel terrible. Right? Pero en este caso, si alguien me dice, what's the matter? Ah, no problem. I don't have any problem, right? No tengo problema. I feel what terrific i feel terrific i feel terrific no vamos a pensar que es algo negativo terrific positive it's terrible negative okay terrible negative okay that's good okay students uh you have to do is to practice this question can you tell me five parts of your body what's the matter how do you feel how do you Right? Three questions, right? Okay, students. Mm -hmm. uh, are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Yes, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. You're going to have five minutes to practice these questions. Go ahead. Elbow. Okay. Okay. No sé si me va a hacer la otra pregunta. What's the matter? Oh, thanks for ask. Um. Uh, Um, no sé por qué la oigo cortada. Sí, igual yo la escucho bastante cortada. Vale, la pregunta que me hice. Vale, la. Hi. Hi. Hola, Elsie. <laughs> vale, si quiere le voy a preguntar. Oh, hola. Okay, right, right. hola. Ah, <laughs> okay, no. Lo siento. Vaya. Vale. Eh, me eight parts of your body. Um, um, this is my, um, how? <laughs> okay. Um, this, I, I don't remember the answer word. Okay, this uh, is um, I don't listen very good 
I don't listen to my classmate. Okay, okay. Okay, no problem. Try to say. Okay. Um, I have. Um, I have. Um, I have me, please. I did, I did. Okay. Uh, I don't. You don't remember the part <laughs> of your body? Yeah, but I don't, I don't know uh, the answer. Ah, okay. Uh, this is my head. This is my eyes. This is my nose. This is my mouth. Okay. Okay. This is my head. This is my hand. This is my fingers. This is my stomach. Okay. And this is my eyes. Um, this is my um, knee. Okay. okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't hear so oh, well. Okay, uh, I think we get a uh, internet problem, but uh, don't worry. You can use the chat, right? And ask each other. Usar el chat y se dice preguntar. Okay, students, go ahead. Don't worry. We try to practice uh, these questions. I'm gonna. Uh, we back in a minute. Regreso en un minuto. What's the matter? Um, I don't problem. Okay, how do you feel? Um, I feel good. Okay. Okay. Let's see, teacher. Okay. Le voy a preguntar a Fabricio. Oye, su. Okay. Ya nos preguntamos. Okay. Very good. You can uh, practice several times. Uh, the most important part here is putting to practice, right? Practiquen tantas veces como sea necesario. You can ask another question. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. Thank you. That's a nice book. That's good, teacher. Hi, teacher. Finish, teacher. I said it. Vamos el terrific. No es terrific. No es terrific. Okay, very nice. Fantastic. 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 Decimos las tres cuestiones. Ya. Uh, I practice three questions. Okay, cool. <laughs> Very good. Okay, that's awesome. That's a terrific work. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's. Ya no me va a asustar el terrific. Yeah, that's good. Okay, thanks, students. I'm gonna go back. Vamos a regresar. Okay. Mm. Hola. Hello. Hola. 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 ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Okay, Serena, sigue. 
Okay, some of your groups was really, really great. Se lo hicieron muy bien. And now we are going to continue with today's class, right? Okay, very good. I don't know if you have a question about that uh, activity. Questions? No questions. Everything is clear and understood. Okay, very nice, cool. <laughs> really good job. <laughs> okay, students, let's see. Uh, we're gonna watch a video, okay? Okay, let me see. Okay, we're gonna watch a video, right? Okay. Remember, the goal class you'll learn hi everyone in this class okay please pull off your microphone class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body let's get started by listening and practicing parts of the body head eye ear nose mouth Tooth, teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, Fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay, very good, the students. Escucharon el video? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, do you have a problem with some of those words in pronunciation, right? No problems? No, no okay, very good. Nice. Sí, yeah. Ombligo is umbilical. Umbilicus, yes, very good. Umbilicus. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, student, let's see. Okay, as you see here, uh, this is the video, this part. Okay, let me check. And now we're gonna watch a video about the uh, app and feel because we're gonna see this uh, strange pronunciation of this word, right? Okay, please pay full attention to this. Let's go. Us now and learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? 
I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula, subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I, then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective homesick or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right I feel sick awful terrible miserable fine Great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, students. Okay, students. Uh, ya vimos ese video donde explica un poco más a fondo lo que mencionamos anteriormente. Así que we got several questions, right? About health problems. And uh, what else? Ah, how to use have and feel plus an adjective, right? Okay. Uh, let me see. I don't know if you have any questions or questions. So I have a question. Yeah, Reina, tell me your question. Um, ¿la puedo decir en español? <laughs> <laughs> eh, mi pregunta es, ¿por qué, por ejemplo, en I have the flu? ¿Y por qué I have a headache? El uso, de la, el, el uso del D y el A. Ok. Eso usa, por ejemplo, I have a flu. A flu, ok, very good. DJ. Ok, students. Uh, in this case, I don't know if you can see the chat right now. Ok. You can see it? Pueden ver el chat? Sí. Ok, very good. Ok, in this case, we got a. a Article. Tenemos un artículo. Eh, en este caso, can be a indefinite article. Right? Okay, let me check. Eh, in this case, students, um, basically, what we have to know with this one, we got a na and na. this one and this one too. Ok, cuando tenemos el A y AND, nos estamos refiriendo a un problema. 
I have a problem. I have a headache, right? Headache. In this case, when we use the, we are talking about in a general way. Hablamos de una forma general, generalizada. So that's why uh, you can see I have the flu, porque hablamos de la gripe en general, ¿sí? Pero si usted me dijera de una gripe en específico, por ejemplo, que, ok, ojalá que no pase. I, COVID. Yeah, yeah, I have the COVID, right? Eh, estamos hablando en general, but I can say I have a COVID o a coronavirus. No sabemos cuál de todos. Este es indefinido y este es definido. ¿Sí? ¿Es clear? Ok. Ok, muy bien. Es clear. Yeah. Muy nice. ¿Somebody else has questions? ¿Questions? 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 ¿No question? No question. No question. No question for this moment. Everything is clear. Ok, muy bien. Yeah. I really like this book. <laughs> Because you never have questions. Ok, yeah. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay. This is the platform, right? This is the platform in which you have to practice. Okay. Okay, let me see. This one. Okay. Uh, the last week, the last week, we were talking about section one. What are you going to do? And we study all of these topics. See? Uh, during the class, what we're gonna see is an extra information because when you see or when you go to this platform, you can develop this uh, exercise in an easy way, right? Uh, lo que vemos en la clase es básicamente información extra para que cuando ustedes desarrollen eh, pueda ser más fácil para ustedes desarrollarlo, ¿sí? Aquí pueden, eh, you gotta know the check. En todas las secciones van a tener un pequeño test. Like this, right? Espero que ya lo hayan hecho. Section 1. That we were discussing during the last week. Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. It looks like this. Se ve algo así. Okay, 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 like this. And that's my exam, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Okay. At the end of the week, students, is uh, has to look something like this. Se tiene que ver algo así. Todo esto chequecito se ve. Right? Does, right? Okay. You have to work on the platform. Remember that the platform is for you. You have to practice as many times as you can, right? Okay, students, I don't know if you have more questions. Any questions so far? No. No, 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 no. No, Ah, okay. That's a really, really nice question. Let's see. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Basically, students, uh, we're gonna study one session in a half a week. Una sección y la mitad por semana, básicamente. That was for the last week. Esto fue para, por la semana pasada, right? Vimos todo esto. Right now, we're gonna see this. Parts of the body, the lesson objectives, a have and feel in a conversation, right? And then you can uh, practice knowledge check, right? Yep. Okay, and so on, right? Basically, uh, one section per week. Una sección. Ok, ok, that's good. Por semana. That's good. Ok, students, it's clear. 
Leading and the I agree, the student. That was a really, really terrific work today, right? <laughs> it is positive. <laughs> okay, great. And thanks for being here, students. That's a pleasure to see you again and see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye, teacher. Go to bed. Thanks. Okay, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. See you.